PC, I'm back. This is part three of Laverne Cool Cruise, and I'm finishing up for the day, so we're gonna do our last little walk through and get on down the road. I gotta go pick up Trevor. Happy Easter, everybody. Look at this Trans Am. McGuire sponsored, Gen 2, Firebird. This is just another absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous car out here. Look at that, he's got his PMDs on there. Spoiler is just fully formed in, just beautiful. This has got some work. Look at the front end work here. They've reworked the fenders. There's a lot of subtle mods on this car that you just really have to look for very carefully. I'm seeing them as we're talking right now. All your body lines are great. Love the fact that they put the they put the uh, uh, the vent there. But yeah, see the mild flares and again fully molded lip spoiler. And I believe there are no longer any drip rails on this car either. Take a look inside. It has a nice stock feel to it, but also very purposefully built. So beautiful, beautiful car here. And we got over and take a look at this here. This is an amazing car right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a 41 Willys Coupe. I mean, the one down the way is gorgeous, but this car here is, again, just a beautiful example of a great build. This all fits under the hood, it appears. Yes, it sure does. Oh, no, no, it's out the hood. Okay, so yeah, the blower pokes out. Look at this interior. It's almost like a uh, like a carbon fiber look to it, but it's a material. And of course, you know, it's not a carbon fiber color. It's got the custom door props, Budnick wheel, great pedal set, got his drop down. And we got giggle gas, look at that. It's on gas. So overall, what a beautiful car. Just to get a look at it, wow. Here's more view of the uh, scene around here. There's a great race car, it's here. Oh, look at this. This is a month now. No. Beautiful car. It's so good. It's actually a Fiat. See the turnout seats. This is a Fiat 1200. Um, this is uh, designed by Pinion Farina, and as you can tell, it's got those classic Farina lines. You can tell, you can tell a Farina design a mile away versus a Bertone or a, I think it's Gugliaria. And there was a couple of major coach builders in Italy, but Farina, of course, being the premier builder, and just really a beautiful car. This is a super, super rare car, by the way. And the sun just popped out on us. All right. 65 falcon here one of my favorites i love the sprint it's a 289 and it sure is falcon sprint baby this is one of the few fords and don't it's not that i hate fords but this is one of the cars i really really want and they call it probably one of the most affordable muscle cars still out there this is an amazing car because it's what the mustang is based on and it's a much lighter car and it's a very quick and good handling car and right here now we've got a, uh, looks like a old, no, it's Caddy. It's Caddy 56. Convertible, should be an Eldorado, I guess. You know, it's cheating, look at the tag. 56, series 62. So it is a 56. I'm just not familiar with the series 62. But look at this row of Caddies we have right here. Some amazing stuff. <clears throat> Of course, you gotta have your pink Cadillac. And it's also looking like a uh, 56 as well. No, actually it's not. I believe it's a 55. Let me take a look here. Back around we go. It's a 53. See, I don't know my cat. God, look at this. If you want the pink Cadillac, there you go. Look at this. This is a 53. The ivory and uh, coral is just beautiful. The paint is really cool on this thing. What a build, really amazing. Love the rear bullets on it. Really gorgeous car. Isn't it look at that 56? I know my later's a little bit better. So I'm kind of running because I gotta go pick up my son. Let's get back over here. Take a look at this one here. This should be a Coupe de Ville. It is a 55. 
See the trim work here? Really cool. Look at the interior with the brocade. Again, a beautiful car. See the window, the wind scoops, those are cool because they, they vent the air right into the back so the air comes in and vents right to the back passengers. Really cool design idea. And back then. And that is your 55 Coupe de Ville. See where the exhaust ports, all very cool. Nice Lincoln. It's nice to see it up like this. You can see all the top, how the, how the lid worked and everything. Very complicated hydraulics. A lot going on to make these work. <laughs> Guys have come up with some new kits and they've uh, improved a lot of uh, some of the older issues they have with these. But yeah, it's a lot of mechanicals here. Very, very cool. Interior, sweet. Very well done. And of course you got that monster with it, I think a 460 in here. Yeah, this is a 64. Back to here. There you go, guys. Another beautiful Lincoln. One of the, probably the best Lincoln I've seen here today, by far. And I would guess that it's probably going to trophy. Nice. Sneaky for you, sorry. And then uh, this one's a VIP here. Gorgeous. Look at this Tudor here. It's a Tudor sedan. It is also a... 32, and even though this is a 50 mark, again, I'm a sucker for Kelsey, Kelsey Hayes wheels or Kelsey Hayes style wheels. When done right, they look amazing. El Camino, wow. A lot of red going on here. Look at this LS3 in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just had lunch and uh, that was great. 71 El Camino, red, 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 red. Look at all the red. Hey, wheel looks strangely familiar. Not quite like the one we have in the White Beast, but it's very close. Foose wheels look a lot like my Smoosters, my Boyds, but really super, super clean Elko. What do we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? 59 Impala. Beautiful color. Lay down on the paint is gorgeous. Look at that. All this trim is just spot on. Interior, way up there. Overall, just gorgeous. And you know I'm a sucker for an Impala. Overflow bottle, let's see what's going on. Ooh, look at this, he's all phi teched out. He's got the screens on it. CPV brake system. Aluminum radiator. And now I know the bullets in the front are R59. I just get confused. But God, look at this car, you guys. This is art. Absolutely beautiful. American Racing Torque Thrust 2s. Modified. Here we go, man. First Studebaker I've seen today. Look what's under the hood. Again. Demon carburetor, looks like, yeah, Demon setup. I believe it's a small block, tall valve covers. Exceptional car. This is really unusual just to even see. Look at the lay on this car. Okay, when we want to talk about stance, this is stance. Take a look inside. Look at the handles, man. So subtle. Take a look inside here. Ratchet style shifter. Custom dash, all custom billet, uh, custom billet vents. Of course, the wraparound window that's so signature on these cars. These cars were just completely different than anything else out there. And you can see it's just, it's a rolling piece of art. It really is. Take a look at this dash here. This is as purpose built as it gets. Looks like a LeCar style wheel. And here you go, man. This is the Studi. It's a 1950 owned by Kevin Spain. Look at those hinges, just everything going for it. What do we have here? Also bubble. It's a holiday. Four door hard top. So I'm gonna guess this is based on the uh, 55 Bel Air Tri-5 because it's basically the same door line as the Bel Air, if you see. The waist and everything's the same. And of course then the chain, you know, the back end and then everything is styled for Oldsmobile. But again, it's a four-door hardtop, and you, if you look at it, it almost looks like a two-door. It's just really well done. And uh, 
This is a super rare car here. Oldsville Holiday. And let's just double check the year. It is a 55, like I was thinking it was. We got the Oldsmobile rocket engine in here. Very, very cool. Very, very correct. So it's a Holiday Super 88 with an original 45,000 miles on it. So this is a survivor car you're looking at right here. This is a uh, really one of a kind. It's actually the first one I've ever seen. I've never seen one of these. So there you go, guys. Here we go, suicide doors. It's a 33 Deuce. Small block Chevy. Suicide doors. Beautiful leather interior. The louvers I love. Like his two tone. Got some great scratch on it. He's got the chrome torque crust twos on here. Nice little two-door sedan, really sweet. Looking like we got ourselves a beautiful Impala, like a 67 maybe? 69. Yeah, later Impalas I'm not so good with. But again, it's all Felixed out, which you know I love the Felix stuff from uh, Felix LA. And I was wrong on the Type 2, they don't have drip rails on the, uh, on the uh, Type 2 uh, F bodies. But again, let's look here. He's got brand new Viar compressors. He's got the tank set up. Very, very clean. He's obviously bagged. He's got the original Felix uh, dealership plates on it and the black plate, which just makes it that much cooler. Great example. Look what he's got across the street here. All kinds of good stuff. Oh, a Berlinetta. <laughs> wow. Never thought I'd ever see one of these again. You thought they'd be all gone. Got this in 1978 for their birthday. Couldn't afford the V8, so they got the straight six. That's great. Oh, look at this. We got another studio here. Yeah. You don't see these very often under the hood, but there you go. There's the supercharger. This is the Golden Hawk. This is the very top of the line for the Studebakers back then. They came with a factory supercharger. An amazing car. That's uh, That would be it. My brother had one of these and he built it for Bonneville. He turned it into a Bonneville car. I couldn't believe he did it. I was like, you're taking a Golden Hawk and making it into a Bonneville car? Well, nobody else was doing it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, this Golden Hawk's amazing. It really is. It's just it's so trick. So there you go. Let's go. Guys, go back. Yeah. Just do the Baker Gold Hawk for you. And Mr. Tom Ringland, I just keep running into everywhere. I turn around, I see you. <laughs> All the important people come to this show. Well, right. You know, I'm talking with a VIP right now. Come on. Love that guy. 65 T-Bird across over here. One of the T-Birds I really, really like. Red, black interior, vinyl top, Landau bars. Yeah, this is one of the ones, this is one of my very favorite T-Birds. And uh, it's just top of the line. The red is a nice lay down on it. Vinyl top looks good. Of course, it's gonna have the sequential lights. The sequential turn signals, which I always thought were so cool when I was a kid, I just loved them. He's got speakers in the doors, but you know, that happened a lot with these cars, not much you can do about that. And uh, it's actually a 66, I was wrong. 66, 428. Yeah, it's sweet, man. Is yours? Yeah. yeah, it's a gorgeous car. How long have you had it for? 17. Really? Where'd you find it? Was that the post office? Garage door went up. And there it was. Four flat tires. Yeah. Four guys scratching his head. And um, so he needed to sell it. He had to pay off a loan on it. So it's not been restored, it's been refurbished. So well, it's a really great example. And it's funny because I have, a, I have a cow book that I found in the garage on four flat tires, red. And I've done the same thing with it. But right now it's back up on jack stands, so I'm doing a bunch of work under it. But love it, man. I've done all the hard work. It's yeah. the original vinyl top, original interior, original wow. chrome. Wow. I, I did paint it. Yeah. Uh, but all the brakes, the engine trans, he had already done the engine trans. Gotcha. But that's the original interior, huh? The original interior. I, I wow. Took, I had the interior guys 
take the covers off and replace the foam. Yeah, the then, foam is the Then put it back. Very cool. And the vinyl is the original vinyl top. And look at the wraparound seats in the back. They're so sick. See, the 65 and 66 are pretty close, right? They are. Okay. Because I was thinking, because I, I love both these. I mean, this is just one of my favorite T-Birds of all. Really great car. Thanks for uh, talking yeah, to me, man. No problem, Appreciate man. it. All right. Cheers. You too. All right. We got a bug. And oh, look at this. I believe this is Mr. Tom Ringland's car here. Finally, the family Packard is in the house. We've been running to Tom all day. And here's his car. This has a... Uh, I think it's a 230 Chevy straight six. They replaced the original uh, Packard straight eight or might have been a six in this one. But yeah, this has been in his family for about three generations. It is a Packard six. So yeah, originally started out as a, as a six cylinder car. And it is a 1938 and they've had it forever. And there you go. Mr. Tom Rinland in the house here on PCTV. Here we got a bay window. Got all the cool stickers on it. The only one they don't have is never ever get behind a VW bus. That's the one you gotta have, man. That's the one that was on my bus. People will do anything they could to get around me. All right, let's take one uh, good look at this Golden Hawk from behind. He fired it up right back we go. All right, I gotta start heading out. I gotta get my boy, but let's keep walking. Hit the other side of the street here. Nice little Malty here. Very sweet. Open air. Very nice car. Good metal flake. Hey, he's running a Ford motor in it. All right. I like where his turn signals are in the front bar there. This is a nice early series one. You can see how I run a small block. Single carb setup. Nice shape firewall. Good lay on the truck. Great stance on it. Looks really, really good. Let's go look at the interior real fast. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like it. It's nice C10 here. So Looking so like a 67 or a 68. It is a 68. Now he's got his tank in it. Yeah, he's got his, his tanks in it like mine. Nice. Like the seat. Got a lot going on. It's close to the truck, so looks like it's a driver. 69Z28 right next to it. Beautiful white and black. She's popping bright. And there's a super bird here that I gotta get a look at here in a minute. 302, which was pretty standard for these. Um, that's why they were homologated because they had to be under uh, a certain uh, displacement. Look at this here, man. Plymouth Roadrunner. The Daytona was his twin in the Dodge. So this is the real deal right here. Gotta love it. NASCAR style tires. Definitely not denying its heritage. The high backs are in here. I'm guessing this is a 70. Look at the pistol grip shifter with extension on it. The hearse setup. Very, very cool. And he runs the South OC. Now they sit and have breakfast on this thing too, if I remember right. They brought this to quarantine cruise a couple of times. Seen it around for quite a while. Here's the back end of that Z28. Very clean. Super nice rally stripes. And this one's got pedals and gears, man. It's a shifter car. Very nice. So one more look at the bird. It is a 70. Let's head over and take a look at this uh, little deuce right here. Oh, big block in a deuce. Oh, yeah. Got a flaming river column there. Dual carb setup. This is a serious car right here. Look at the work on this windshield. Just top notch. This doesn't look like it gets a lot of road time. Hey, he's got his orange crush. Obviously, the name of it is probably Orange Crush. Like the coilover set instead of the transfer sleeve. So they went to the coilover setup with uh, trailings. Versus having the transfer sleeve. I bet you that handle is really, really nice. I'm sure he's got coilovers in the back, too. Up, oh, it's here again. 65 Nova SS. This is my best in show at Garden Grove um, two weeks ago. 
and it's here again. They, you guys don't see it on the hood, but I shot it the other day. It was just amazing. So it's here. A lot of top quality cars are here today. That's for sure. What do we have here? Wow, this is a big one. It's a Lincoln, of course. This is what they call it, KA Sedan. Look inside this thing, the Burlwood. Metallic. It's beautiful here. Oh, here's the chauffeur. Yeah, this is the chauffeur's car. Top notch. Real beauty. Of course, before they were able to make this large of a roof, they were able to do it. So, oh, this is my Getting a look here. Is she getting her picture taken? Oh, we got the great coupon, of course. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, got a little dust in my nose there. Got the dual doors. Oh, and here we are. Here we are. The chauffeur himself. Yes, sir. We're two the usual brothels today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We hit all the brothels tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your service. Beautiful car. All right. Guys, I'm going to have to start moving through. Got to get on out of here now. Oh, yeah. I got to go. So... This is going to close it out for me at uh, Cruising uh, Laverne here. It's been a great show. A lot of fun. The fun kiss. There you go. We got a Gene Winfield special. This is built by Winfield himself. And what? This is what I'm going to close the show out with. This uh, actual Gene Winfield car. Look at the top on this. Boy, this has got him written all over it. What an amazing base. Very cool. Look at that, man. El Mercado. All right, guys. Well, that's what closes it out here on PCTV. Please like and subscribe. Keep on watching. And I sure do appreciate everybody giving the support and love I got today at the show. And remember, this is Autism Awareness Month, so please help cure autism. Take care, you guys.